so much. Hey angels, what's up? It's your girl Alicia and I'm here today with another video. Welcome to the Angels Academy, a God-ordained safe space for men and women to heal, to be vulnerable, and to grow into the fullness of God. So if this is your first time to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come over and join the family. If you are already one of my angels, you guys know. I love you so much. And without further ado, let's just dive right into this video. Okay, so hey angels. Hey family. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. You guys need to just excuse my hair. I know it's crazy, okay? I just took out my braids. I just took that glue out my hair. And I just need to let it breathe. But I feel like my hair pretty much sums up my day, okay? It's been a bit of a crazy day. And the warfare has been at an all-time high. Glory be to God. And you guys almost did not see me at all today. But I say, you know what? They're going to get this work today. Like, I'm really fighting demons. I'm really out here fighting the devil in real life. And I want you guys to pray for me and pray for my family. Because the devil is really working over time, okay? And I already know he's not going to get the glory out of this. So I feel like this word is just so relevant right now in this season. So God told me to title this message today, It's an Attack. It's an attack. It's an attack. Glory be to God. So if you've been going through a spiritual attack, you've been under spiritual warfare, certain things have been coming up against you. You don't understand what's going on. Why, why are these people acting the way that they're acting? And literally... It's an attack. Glory be to God. So I feel like right now it's just about like getting over myself because I understand what's going on in the spirit. I know that there is a spiritual fight right now that because God has been calling me out and I'm living for God now. Satan is super, super mad and he's trying to do everything he can to stop the calling that God has for my life, to stop my purpose and I rebuke that in the name of Jesus and I'm not going down without a fight at all. Like that's just how I feel about it. So I'm here today. <laughs> I'm here today. Okay. After everything, glory be to God. So listen, let's just take a second and say a prayer. Okay. We need to allow the Holy Spirit in. Okay. So Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for your mercy, your grace, and your protection, Father. I thank you for all of the angels all over the world that's going to see this video today. Lord Jesus, I ask that you lead and guide this conversation, Lord. Whatever it is you want to speak to your people, use me today, Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Comment down below, amen, so I know it's real. Glory be to God. So before we dive into this word today, let me just take a second and thank all of my moderating brothers and sisters. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for helping me keep a clean and safe community here. Let me just take a second and thank my super chat family. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you guys for so into God's vision here on the channel. And today we're just going to talk about when does Satan spiritually attack a believer? Glory be to God. And we're going to go through a couple different circumstances where Satan would normally come. The enemy will come in and attack you as a believer. Do you guys got your Bibles? I got mine. Comment down below. I got my Bible, sis. I got my Bible so you know it's real. Glory be to God. I'm so excited to get into this word today because I know you guys have been going through spiritual warfare and I know the enemy has been at an all time high. And though the devil may attack at any time, know this, he will always do it when he thinks it is to his advantage. Glory be to God. So this is how the enemy works. He tries to come in when it's going to be to his advantage, right? When it's going to be a perfect opportunity to break you down. When it's going to be a perfect opportunity to steal a blessing from you. When it's going to be a perfect opportunity to take your purpose away from you. All these different things, right? He just finds the perfect circumstance so he could come in like a lion on a prowl and seek for whom he can devour, but he will not devour you guys in Jesus name. So the first circumstance is after a great spiritual experience, you should be ready for a spiritual attack from the enemy. In the Bible, we find that Jesus was attacked by Satan right after his baptism. Glory be to God. So after a great spiritual experience, you get baptized, you start going to Bible study, you start going to church, you start fellowshipping with like-minded people, right? After that great spiritual experience, expect an attack from the enemy coming because he doesn't like that. Okay, so God led me over to Matthew chapter 3 verse 16. And it says, and when Jesus had been baptized, just as he came up from the water, suddenly the heavens were open to him. And he saw the spirit of God descending like a dove and lighten on him. 
And a voice from heaven said, this is my son, the beloved with whom I am well pleased with. Then Jesus was led by the spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. Glory be to God. And then we get to Matthew chapter four, verse one. It says, then Jesus was led by the spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. Glory be to God. Listen, Jesus was tempted by the devil because he got baptized. Listen, catch this message in the spirit. Number two, okay, the second circumstance where the enemy will come and try to attack you is at the beginning of a new spiritual endeavor. Satan will attack when you are beginning a new spiritual quest. So God led me to Matthew chapter four, verse 17. And it says, from that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right after Jesus was attacked by the devil, he began his public ministry. Satan knew Jesus was about to begin his ministry. So Satan attacked him. Glory be to God. So you got to be careful whenever you start in a new spiritual endeavor, right? You want to start a ministry. You want to start some type of nonprofit organization that God is involved in. You're going to be feeding children all over America, whatever this new spiritual endeavor is, right? You got to be careful because it opens up the door to the enemy to attack you because his job is to ultimately stop God's plan and purpose and calling for your life, right? The minute he realized that Jesus was about to begin his ministry, he came in with another attack. Number three, when you as a believer is physically or emotionally vulnerable. Glory be to God. This is a perfect circumstance, perfect opportunity for the devil to slide in there and try to attack you, right? Because the devil likes to kick you while you already down. You know what I'm saying? He just, he don't play fair. Glory be to God. And that's why I'm so glad that we serve a God that makes sure that you get the victory out of all things. My hair is really in a crisis. Hold on, y'all. So Satan likes to come. <laughs> My hair is in a frenzy. Like the devil hate me so bad. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Listen. So Satan likes to come in when he knows that you are weak, right? And when he knows that you are vulnerable, either physically or emotionally, he doesn't care. He's like, oh, this is a perfect opportunity to take advantage. Glory be to God. And notice that Jesus was attacked right after he had fasted for 40 days. Y'all remember that? Jesus went on that fast and was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. So God led me over to Matthew chapter 4. Verse two through three. And it says he fasted 40 days and 40 nights. And afterwards he was famished. That means he was hungry. Y'all. He's starving at this point. He was famished. The tempter came. Of course, Satan is the tempter. He's coming with temptation. The tempter came and said to him, if indeed you are the son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. Glory be to God. Now, why would he do that? Knowing he didn't eat for 40 days or 40 nights. It's a test. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and that, that don't even sound right. You you knew that was a test from, from the start. Okay? Because one thing about it, when you on a fast, you be hungry. Okay? The last thing you need to do is be fooling around with some food because you don't need to, even need to be doing it. Okay? Because you're supposed to be fasting anyway. Right? So the devil is just such a liar. Number four, y'all. A perfect circumstance for the devil to try to come in and take advantage. When you as a believer is alone, okay? When you're alone. In the Bible, we find Satan attacking people when they are alone. So God led me over to Matthew chapter 4 verse 1. And it says, Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Soon as Jesus got alone... Here comes the devil trying to tempt him, right? Okay, y'all, so number five, number five. Perfect opportunity from, for the devil to try to attack you from an unexpected source. Glory be to God. So what does Satan do? He used somebody else to try to spiritually attack you on his behalf. See, oftentimes Satan will attack you from an unexpected source. Someone that you won't even think of, that you're not even worried about. And here they come out of nowhere. They're going to try to attack you. It could be your boss. It could be one of your coworkers. It could be your spouse. It could be your ex. It could be somebody in your family. It could be anybody. It's an unexpected source though. And here they come out of nowhere with the devilish activity, right? Glory be to God. The Bible says that after Jesus had told his disciples that he was going to Jerusalem to die and then be raised the third day, he was rebuked from an unexpected source. Okay, let's get into the Bible. Matthew chapter 16, verse 22 through 23. It says, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, God forbid it, Lord, this must never happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me. See, 
Peter didn't know what he was saying or what he was doing. Okay, listen to me. Peter was sitting there rebuking him. And Jesus is like, I already know that Satan is using you. So I'm going to just tell Satan to get behind me because I'm not even dealing with that. Glory be to God. <laughs> so Jesus literally says to Peter, you are a stumbling block to me. In other words, you in my way, right? For you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. Glory be to God. And see, this is a situation where Satan comes to the believer through the sin of another believer, right? And these are the attacks that hurt the most. Because it's like, wow, why would this person do this? That's like somebody coming up to you in the church and attacking you, right? Some, that's like that's like you getting fired on a job. That's like, you know, it, it really could be anything. But it's like, it hurt the most because it's like, you, like, wow, you are the one that's allowing Satan to use you like this? To attack me? And see, people don't even be understanding that they really be the devil pawn. You know what I mean? Like, they just literally put it in the palm of the devil's hand. And they just doing the devil's work and they don't even really realize it, right? Glory be to God. But this is why we pray for these type of people. Because it's judgment coming upon them for everything it is that they do. Everything it is that they say, right? Every word curse that was spoken upon your life. They're going to be held responsible for the things that they've done and they said. Okay? Glory be to God. And see, I'm so grateful that we serve a God that fights for us, right? Like, you don't have to lift your hand and do nothing you don't have to open up your mouth and tell the part that you played and what happened you don't have to defend yourself on anything because i feel led to say that time will reveal everything and it always do this is the guy that we serve he's going to make sure that you get the victory out of the situation no matter what right so whenever the enemy is coming up against me and i know satan is attacking me like i'm so in tune spiritually now that i can actually feel the push and the pull in the spirit like it's like a tug of war for my soul at this point like the devil is like no i want you and god is like no she's mine like you know and this is how you know you're really getting stronger in your spirituality and your walk with god because you can actually feel like the spiritual fight glory be to god you guys know that the spiritual realm is way bigger than the natural realm there's literally literally a spiritual war going on a spiritual fight and god is literally fighting on our behalf each and every day to make sure that the devil don't win glory be to god number six y'all i want to let you guys know this the devil always comes back and attacks again so after satan attacks a believer you and then leaves he always returns again glory be to god so you got to be careful right because you got to know that the fight is not over because the devil is always on the prowl, looking for another opportunity, another another area he can slide in and take advantage of your situation or another way he can devour you, right? Glory be to God. And sometimes the devil will use the same circumstance all over again to try to devour you, right? It's a constant fight. So God led me to Luke chapter 4, verse 13, and it says, When the devil had finished every test, he departed from him. Until an opportune time. Glory be to God. So what does this mean? That means that after the devil had came in and did all his testing and everything he could do to try to devour. Right. And he felt because victory is ours. He dipped off for a little while. He departed. But then he came back when he felt like it was the perfect opportunity, the perfect time to come in. Glory be to God. So don't think that it's strange where people start calling your phone with drama out of nowhere. Don't think that it's strange where people start trying to defame your character and put your name and all kinds of stuff. Don't think it's strange when the devil is using certain type of people to try to destroy you, to come against you, to come against your purpose, to speak down on you. Like, don't think that it's strange when certain circumstances is happening in your life and around you. And it's like, wow, really one thing after another. But no, it's really a spiritual battle, right? And though you may win a temporary victory over the devil, in your spiritual battle, Satan will return for another fight. So I want you guys to always be prepared. Know that if you feel like, wow, I, I, I beat this before, right? I, 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 I got the victory over this situation. Why am I dealing with this again? Why is this coming back around? Because Satan is mad, right? And he don't want to take that L. Glory be to God. A lot of people, a lot of times people don't want to take that loss. So what do they do? They just keep coming back, coming back, coming back, doing the devil's work. Glory be to God. But this is what... Satan does. He's the author of all lies and all confusion. So anytime there's a bunch of chaos, confusion, lies, negativity, Satan is the author of that. Right? But just remember that you are victorious. Glory be to God. Somebody comment down below. I am victorious. If you needed to hear this word today. 
And although Satan does attack, and although Satan sometimes will entice you to go back into sin, glory to God, ultimately you are victorious through Christ. Catch this message in the spirit and see, this is a promise of God. God promises you the victory. <laughs> glory be to God. I love God so much. So the apostle Paul declared in 2 Timothy chapter 4, 18, the Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and save me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Everybody comment down below. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. God just sent me here to let you know to just relax, right? To just pray and to keep the faith. Don't worry about everything that you see that's going on around you. It's an attack of the enemy. He's mad <laughs> as he should be. Glory be to God. Because you are actually growing. You are growing spiritually, mentally, physically in every way. You are becoming a better person. You are becoming the best version of yourself. You got to believe the devil is mad. Glory be to God. But you just keep making him mad. You keep pressing forward. Know that you have the victory. Glory be to God. And that God is fighting on your behalf. And that nobody is going to get away with anything that they've done or said about you. Because this is the God that we serve. He promises to vindicate us. So get ready for vindication if this is your word today. And sleep peacefully knowing that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And that every tongue that rises up against you shall be proven wrong. I love you guys so much. I hope this video helped somebody. Y'all got me out here looking like a whole anything okay and you know what i said this word got to go forth but i love you guys so much i pray that you guys receive this word don't forget to like comment and subscribe do all the things that you guys been doing we are on the road to sixty thousand angels and i'm so excited to god be the glory i cannot do it without you guys if you have not gotten your holy anointed oil yet you probably need it <laughs> For real, because the devil been uh doing too much. The devil been acting real ghetto lately. You probably need it. Go down below in the description. Go over and get your holy oils poo. <laughs> Don't forget to go over and subscribe to the other channels. I'll make sure I leave it here for you guys. And go check out my mother's channel. Subscribe. Leave us leave us some love. Comment down below. Let her know that I sent you guys. And that is the end of this video. I just need to hurry up so I can edit this video because it's already getting too late. And I really want you guys to get this word. I feel this in my spirit that. You know, the devil has really been trying to attack you. He's and he's coming from another angle. Glory be to God, which is wild to me. But you got to understand with every new level comes a new devil. <laughs> Woo, so you got to get ready. You got to get ready. Put on your full armor in this season because the devil is coming harder and harder. And we got to come extra harder and harder. I love you guys so much. So that is the end of this video. But always remember the secret to success. Say it with me, y'all. Put that first. Always be determined. And consistency is key. Period. I love you guys so much. I'm praying for you guys. Pray for me as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, angels. Mwah.